So 2017 was a year full of great games, but by far the greatest one was Mario Odyssey. This isn't an opinion, it's a fact. It's in the Bible. In fact, I could prove it for you mathematically. Jokes aside, I do have a degree in math, and Mario Odyssey is a wonderful game. Few other games, even Mario games, possess quite the movescape it does, and yes, movescape is a word. Don't look it up, you can trust me on this one. Anyway, yeah, your movement options are a ton of fun in this game, and players are still finding unique ways to go about traversing the world. My boy Jeffo from Mother's Basement did a stellar job making a video on this very subject, and I hear the guy who edited that video has a math degree, so I highly recommend you check it out. So for most of the game, you just enjoy playing it, and if you ever became super adept at the movement and all the jumps, the whole world was your literal playground. And this was as fun as a barrel of monkeys. And it better be fun, because it cost me a fortune. The monkeys, not the game. Well, actually, I guess they were both a little expensive, but the monkeys were way more expensive. But then Mario Odyssey got even better. That's right, what happened next was a piece of poetry straight from the mouth of Bill Shakespeare himself. In an update, they added a new mode called Balloon World, which is pretty grandiose because it's noticeably less worldly than the kingdoms in the game. But hey, tomato, tomato. Except no one actually says tomato. Except, I guess, th these countries do. Anyway, Balloon World features everyone's fourth favorite green plumber. I'm sorry, I love Luigi just as much as the next guy, but I mean, it's pretty hard to beat George Brazil. So the idea is, you can either hide balloons somewhere in each kingdom, or you can find other people's hidden balloons, and that's pretty standard. But it's the mechanical infrastructure of Mario Odyssey that makes this the perfect game to have such a mode. First, there's the absurd amount of stackable movement abilities. I guess you could say Mario's good at moving. Wait, that joke only works if Mario's a cow. Basically, Mario can maneuver his way to just about every spot on every map. But possibly even more important is the maps themselves. See, even before Balloon World was released, players were constantly encouraged and rewarded for managing to get to interesting locations in each kingdom. We all just naturally built an arsenal of potential hiding spots for our balloons. It's worth noting that Spelunky's approach to Avatar progression aged poorly, and with stuff like the Koopa races, not only were many players skilled enough to get to these spots, but they were trained to get there quickly. As a result, Balloon World was immediately popular with a high volume of balloons that are just loads of fun for which to go searching. You can also challenge yourself to find some of them and learn new things about Mario or the kingdoms in the process. Players unfamiliar with the locations or tech will feel emboldened to learn when they see a balloon out of their reach. Moreover, Balloon World fills a role previously absent from Mario Odyssey. If you want to unlock all the costumes, you gotta make a lot of money. As we all know, Mario is rigidly resistant to selling out, except the Mercedes thing. So the best strategy back in the day was to just repeat this one level over and over. You could max out your money in like an hour, but it was really boring. I'd rather listen to Ben Stein read The Awakening. Actually, now that I think about it, that would actually probably be pretty entertaining. I'd like to listen to that. But now with Balloon World, you earn an unreasonable amount of money really quickly. By my estimate, you could probably afford that barrel of monkeys you've always wanted. It's downright comical just how fast you get money. And I would know. I took a comedy class. With enough practice, you can max out your money in, uh, Alexa, what time is it? Oh yeah, that's pretty fast. Anyway, I've said pretty much everything I have to say, I think. You know how in Nintendo games when they're like, Excuse me, sir, miss, you've been playing for too long, you should really go outside for a bit. Yeah, Balloon World not only doesn't do that, but it does the opposite. Luigi reminds you to keep playing every time you find a balloon. Just thought that was weird. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want video games to happen, and don't forget to floss today.